These days, when you think of the Canadian oil industry, you probably think of Alberta's oil sands. While most Canadian oil may be produced out west these days, the Canadian petroleum industry actually got its start in southwestern Ontario. Long before Europeans colonized North America, the Ojibwe indigenous peoples discovered gum beds in what is today southwestern Ontario. A gum bed is caused when oil seeps through the ground to the surface to create an asphalt pond. The Ojibwe people used the gum beds to waterproof their canoes. In the 1850s, the gum beds started attracting explorers to the area, and in 1858, James Miller Williams, a former wagon maker from Hamilton, developed the first commercial oil well and refinery. You might be wondering what the oil was used for, since at the time, cars were decades away from being invented. The oil was used in lighting to replace whale oil. Others came looking to replicate Williams' success, and the town of Oil Springs was born. The earliest and simplest way of extracting the oil was with a cribbed well. This was essentially a hole dug in the ground which used cribbing to prevent wall collapse, and oil was either hand-pumped or bailed out. The cribbed well only worked for extracting oil close to the surface. The next innovation was to build spring pole drills, an ancient Chinese method of drilling. In 1862, John Shaw struck the first gusher using this technique. Shaw's gusher resulted in an oil boom as more people came looking to get rich, and Oil Springs' population quickly grew to 4,000. It was also in 1862 that John Henry Fairbank arrived on the scene. He invented a way to use a steam engine to power multiple oil wells at once, using something called jerker lines. A steam engine would power a field wheel, which would then power the jerker lines, whose back and forth motion operated the wells. John Fairbank founded Fairbank Oil, which is still producing oil to this day and is the oldest oil company in the world. The oil wells and oil springs dried up quickly, but soon more oil was discovered nearby in what would become the town of Petrolia. It was in Petrolia in 1866 that the Canadian oil rig was invented, which was designed to replace the tough manual labor of the spring pole with steam power. Another steam-powered invention was the Fitzgerald Rig, invented by Frederick Ardell Fitzgerald, the first president of Imperial Oil. This multi-wheel system was powered by a wood-fired steam boiler and was designed to power up to 300 wells at once. The steam boiler would eventually be replaced with a diesel engine, and today the rig is being run with an electric motor. Another problem that had to be overcome was how to store and transport the oil that was found. Oil was pumped into holding and separating tanks, which would separate any water that was also pumped up by allowing the oil to float to the top of the tank. Then, horse-drawn wagons were used to transport the oil to refineries in the nearby city of Sarnia, which still has oil refineries to this day. A big thank you to the Petrolia Discovery Museum, which is where a lot of this information and footage was gathered. Be sure to check them out on Facebook. If you're interested in learning more, there are several works of historical fiction about the Southern Ontario oil boom, including the novel Grease Town by Anne Towell and the 2018 film Black Gold, directed by Aaron Huggett. These works also examine the discrimination suffered by black Canadians at this time. If you enjoyed this video, then you should consider checking out some of my other content, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a future video.